Boxing King Media in association with Box Row. Joe Jenkins, Joe, fifth fight announced today uh, at the uh, GBM uh, media lunch. How excited are you fighting uh, again early early this year? Yeah, I'm buzzing. I'm just looking forward to getting 2023 started off with a bang, just getting back in the ring. Can't wait. Just talk a little bit about your last fight. You, I think you fought a natural middleweight. So obviously thinking back now, you took a few licks as well, but you hurt him numerous times. So what, what did you learn about yourself fighting uh, a guy about two, three weight divisions heavier than you? Um, yeah, it were too, so it were, it were, it were a lot heavier than me. So it were durable for bigger shots than obviously what I, I'm throwing. So that's why it probably took him as well. So um, I've learned I could take a shot and carry on fighting and throwing back from a bigger guy. So I don't think I'll have a problem from um, someone smaller in the ring maybe uh, and yeah it was just a good experience just I learned I was fit enough to get through the four rounds so it's just what I needed definitely because it, 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 to be fair I'm trying to think of the, the previous three fights you had this guy actually applied a bit of pressure as well which was good for you to experience that I was doing the commentary on that fight and did you pick up at any point when the fight were you thinking this guy looks like Dimitri Bivol or Triple G were you thinking that at all I weren't in, in the time but when I've looked back and I heard you saying it on commentary I was thinking did, you're probably right to be fair like it did look it anywhere tough it was tough like them as well yeah. like I think it must just be in the blood they're, they're, they're tough tough bastards excuse, yeah. excuse my language <laughs> Definitely, yeah, because I was watching and thinking, geez, this guy definitely looks like a, a, a bit like Bivol. The funniest thing is, I watched him fight a week after your fight, so considering how hard that was, he did the same again, so credit to you shows the kind of level you're at, because he fought a middleweight, a natural middleweight, a week after, and gave him a tough fight as well. Yeah, yeah, um, I think I think I'm going to move on and do big things all being well. Um, so it's just taking it step by step, and like you say, I've, I've been at, I were at a ring for a long time before last year, so... Last year was just about building my ring rust back, and this year I just need to stamp my name. Obviously, welterweight is a division you're fighting at, because I think I spoke to you a few months back in the gym, and you were saying potentially you could probably make super lightweight. Is that still a possibility? I'm not sure, to be fair. I think I think welterweight is me, because um, I don't want to drain myself and, and, and feel weak at the weight. I mean, I could, I could I, I'm not sure. We'll just have to see. And how was your first year under uh, Izzy at GBM Sports? It got you, got you active, got you four fights in your first year, which a lot of promoters promised, but it's not easy to deliver four fights. No, no, so yeah, I appreciate what Izzy did for me last year. Like you say, kept me active, just what I needed. Got the ring rust off, so let's see what, what else he brings to the table for me this year. Are you already thinking of uh, potential opponents down the line? Because uh, realistically, in another four or five fights, you could be knocking on for an area title, yeah, definitely. I want to I wanna get this, this four-rounder done with, then I want to push on to bigger rounds, and then I'm going to probably push on for the central area. I think Damont's got it at the moment, so at the end of this year, he won't have it. I'll be taking that. Interesting. So I don't want to see you calling Dom Hunt that, because there's a good chance he'll probably move on for, from the central area, so it could be vacant. Yeah, yeah, if it's vacant, whoever's always re ready for it at the time, and if I'm ready for it, which I will be, then whoever, whoever wants it will we'll get it going. A little word on, on your gym as well, you know, Roger uh, over there in Sheffield in the manor has probably got some of the best crop of young fighters coming through. He's got yourself, you've got Shaquille Thompson, got Dante, you've got Bree Wright who should be here today as well. A lot of young, good young fighters and Carl, not, not to forget Carl Sampson, probably the best journeyman in the country. Yeah, yeah, uh, that's my brother as well, so we've grown up having a few tussles, so... Yeah, we're, I'm around a good set of people. There's Owen Durnham that's Owen, having his um, first fight. So, yeah, it's, it's, it's good to have people around me like that. Uh, just tell me this, Joe. Has it been, obviously, you're a dad already, so when you started boxing, you already got young kids. So have you found the whole experience of, like, being a dad, trying to do your role as a dad, and then train and earn money because you work as well? Yeah, yeah. Um, it's been an experience. It's not been easy, but... You just, if you really want something, you make, make it happen, don't you? And that's what I'm doing. That's what I've been doing this year. And that's what I'll continue doing. Having a good missus, is that key? She's not bad, I suppose. <laughs> nah, nah, she, she's good. She'll, yeah. she'll probably kick me out of when she sees that. But yeah, it's, that is the key. She's good to me. I speak to a lot of boxers, man. Now, having a good family network around you, it, it makes a massive difference, especially when you're young. Because uh, you're still working as well, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, still working, so... Yeah, it's, it's good to have a good family because obviously they, they can um, sort of help you out in ways other people can't.
You done any nice gardens recently? I hadn't, no, I've had a nice little, well, I have before Christmas, but I broke up at middle of December, so I've had a nice break off, and then I'm still not back at work, so I ain't done none lately now. Good stuff, Joe. Anything else you want to add before I let you go? I just want to give my sponsorships a shout out um, Amici Beecher, Nutella, um, Empire, yourself, Boxing King Media, and, and if I've forgot any others, shout your all out because I appreciate what you do for me. Top man, and any fans watching have seen Joe for the first time, follow this kid's journey because it's going to be an exciting one. Thank you, Joe.